Praise God. Good evening. Are you happy tonight? Amen. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Hallelujah. We shall rise. Amen. Maybe we can sing a few uh, maybe stanzas on that song. <clears throat> Amen. Do you love him? Amen. The resurrection morning. The trump of God shall sing. He shall rise. Hallelujah. We shall rise. Saints will come rejoicing, tears we shall rise, hallelujah, we shall rise, we shall rise, hallelujah, we shall rise, we shall rise, hallelujah, in the resurrection morning, we shall rise, Jesus, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Lord, we come by faith, living thy work, knowing there is a place thou hast pointed yourself to dwell, a place you blessed for us to worship thee, for us to find thee, O oh God. How we feel privileged, Lord, for thou to come down to live these things to us. The Lord, we are not tossed left and center. We are not confused. 
because we know this God's provided place, a place of worship. You say, Lord, them that worship Thee must worship Thee in true the spirit. Father, may you present that spirit before us tonight. May you open our eyes, our understanding, our lips. As we call upon the Lord, may we be found in that spirit. I commit the brothers and sisters into your hands. I thank you for the efforts even to come. Father, we thank you for saving us from the dangers of this generation. And Lord, this night you've ordained for us to be here, O oh God. We didn't come here in vain, Father. And so my prayer, Lord, may you speak only one or two words, O oh God. Even one word is good for us, O oh God. Lord Jesus Christ, as you told Peter, come forth. Lord Jesus, may you speak to us tonight. I commit those who are listening, whatever they be, will be Lord. May your mercy be unto them, O oh God. We thank you for even mercies on the roads, O oh God, and our gathering together, Lord. We come out of way now and we just invite your presence. May you come down, take preeminence, break the word to us, we own glory. In Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. John 11, we read 20 to 26. I greet you tonight in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the privilege given to be in the house of the Lord and even to speak on his everlasting tidings. <clears throat> then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it to thee. Jesus said unto her, thy brother shall live, shall rise again. Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at that last day. Jesus saith unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? You may be saved. Praise the Lord. Do you love him tonight? Amen. Blessed be the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I know we are always pulled out and pushed with time. And by his grace, I'd like to speak on a few things. Uh, just a small thought that came to my heart and uh, to share with uh, each other. Just to encourage one another uh, as even we await his great coming. Praise God. Tonight I want to speak on a note I refer to as attitude. Praise the Lord. I like to speak on attitude. Do you love him? Praise the Lord. And just a few minutes we have before we go to pray, we want just to look at that word, attitude, and see what he can do or not do in our lives. Praise the Lord. You see there where we read verse 21, the Bible says, If thou hast been here, my brother had not died. It goes to say 22, But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it to thee. Praise the Lord. And right there and there, Jesus says, 23, Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Praise the Lord. Now I want us to look at this little scripture from this verse and just begin to think about ourselves because as we look at the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, we find out that he's born and is coming up as a young boy out of controversy coming from things that have not been heard enough that is a virgin born, a young man that won't come to life without proper identity of who the father was. 
And you see again, now Jesus has been with many, and Martha and Mary are friends to Jesus, and we see Lazarus is a friend to Jesus. And we see the Bible continues to tell us behind there that Jesus even spoke of this death of Lazarus, and when he goes to die, he didn't, he wasn't shocked, he wasn't surprised because in him was God. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now you see, when Martha and Mary are beholding their brother dead, you see, humanly speaking, you see, Jesus was aware of the situation Lazarus was on. Amen. And Mary is coming and Martha is coming and probably maybe it's just like Brother Paul happens to be my great buddy, he's my friend, and maybe I'm in a situation and I'm calling for him and I know I'm trying to call and probably sending messages to him and he's not answering and I know when I'm calling, if he came, the situation I am in probably will be sorted out. But here he comes later on when everything has fallen apart. Praise the Lord. Now, but you see here, the Bible says again, Mary stayed in the house still, but Martha was out there because Martha was up in town. But now we want to look at the approach that Martha is having towards Jesus. And this approach is what I'm trying to bring in through the attitude because our attitude, as we are going to establish, many of us, many of the believers, many of the Christians today, they're missing to get the blessings of God because of the attitude they take towards God. And if you follow the death of Lazarus, Jesus knew and he said it so happened for the glory of the name of the Lord. It so happened and he was glad that it happened when he was not there for so God could be glorified. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you see when he talks about this death and he comes to talk to Martha, Martha is talking from the scriptural thinking whereby he's looking at it knowing that surely there's going to be a resurrection and for sure he'll come. But Jesus turns around and says he will live again. He will rise, and I am that very resurrection. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your brother will rise. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Please, where you are tonight, I want you to forget about your stress. Forget about your troubles. Just for a few minutes you give. Let's think about Jesus. Hallelujah. Just think about him. Who he is. According to the dictionary, what I established, it says attitude. Praise the Lord. It's a settled way of thinking. A feeling about something. Typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a position sometimes you press onto your body. Some of us, when you go to work and we have some friends we speak to and you say that man has attitude or that woman has attitude because of the way he presents him herself or the way he appears before you. Then when you are talking or giving instructions and you may look at their body and their positioning and you know these women or these men have certain kind of attitude and you may not like to talk to them. Praise God. And you see, that's the way we are. It's a feeling. It's an action that comes from you. And you see, as we think about attitude, we want to look at the attitude from the perspective of the word of God. Because our attitude towards God's word will either bring us to a blessing or destruction. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why you find some men and women who go to church and go to church with an attitude. Because they're looking at the pastor. Maybe they think they're more educated than that man of God. Maybe they think they're more well than that man of God. Maybe they think they're picked much more than that man of God. And they go in with a sudden kind of attitude, maybe it's a national attitude, maybe a cultural spirit, and when they go there, maybe they have an arrogant spirit and when they sit in the church, the house of God, they cannot listen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Many times attitude comes with some kind of pride. Oh, hallelujah. I'll take that minutes or so. Maybe we'll go and pray. So don't worry. If you don't finish, we'll go. Do you love him? Yeah. But this is very important. Because God is looking at you. When Martha goes before Jesus, using the American language, maybe she could have cast out. Tell you, no, we told you, if you are here, my brother will never die. But you see, Martha is coming with a certain approach. Hallelujah. Some attitude to life. The attitude towards God's word. Because God sometimes allows certain things to happen in our lives just to see our behavior. To see how we're going to react. To see how we're going to walk. And that's why you find out you're coming to church, young girl, young boy, sometimes your daddy can be talking to you and you have developed a kind of attitude because you think maybe you're going to school, maybe you think you are smarter, maybe you think he know, you know something he doesn't know. And when he's talking, you are listening, but you are not listening. And that's why the Bible again says faith comes by hearing and by hearing of the word of God. And the prophet goes in to explain that that hearing is understanding of the word of God. Because you can come, you are hearing, but you are not hearing through revelation, which is the understanding of the word of God. And you have passed in some kind of attitude. And that's why there's no blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Do you love him? Amen. Do you appreciate him? Glory. It's a simple quote. Oh boy, my God doesn't want to come out. Hallelujah. Help me out. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing of the word of God. And you see, when we are talking about attitude, we are talking about the mind. We are talking about your conscience. And I want to tell you something, as I said, I'm quoting here and there, Jesus was born. Probably maybe he didn't have no respect. He was an illegitimate child. And when he spoke, he spoke things that were so peculiar, things that were not known. Now here is someone who has died for four days. He has been dead. But here is this man who is coming and he's saying he's going for sure. He's going to rise. He'll leave again. And remember, if he's your brother, he's your daddy, he's your mother, sometimes you don't know how it feels till it happens to you. And you can imagine how mother was feeling. You can imagine how that condition she was in when she's beholding a dead body. And here is a man who is the most beloved of the family. He seemed to be failing to do what's right. When they knew in him there was something. But I want you and I to carefully look at the approach of Martha. Because Martha had confidence on who Jesus was. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love this place. When I'm here, I feel I'm at home. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. I feel like I'm talking to my brothers and my sisters. Amen. Oh, praise God. And one time we just praise the Lord and worship Him. And one day we'll just walk and we'll be no more. And as a time we say, we shall rise. We shall rise. In the resurrection morning, we shall rise to die no more. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that cometh out of the mouth of God. And you see, if you look at him when he came, he said, I'm the bread of life. We look at that a little bit more. He was that very bread in flesh that you live with it. And you live by it, you'll never die. Oh, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Prophet says somewhere, someone may seal the eternal destination from the service 
by their attitude towards the word of God. Let me tell you friends, you can come just to one meeting, you can come just to one service, and you will seal your eternal destination by your attitude toward the word of God. And God will never listen to you. I want to tell you something friends, the word of God is true, because we are going to see by the kind of attitude we give, let me tell you friends, it does not matter what attitude I have, it does not matter what I think, it does not matter how I behave, it does not matter how I come and look like, when God says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. I can show my attitude, you can come with your attitude, you can talk the way you want, you can walk away, you can do what you want, but when God says, he's going to do it. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he says, he does, he brings it to pass. So one time, when you come to the house of God, I'd rather stay at home. And that's why you are given a choice to choose a church. You want to go and worship him. Amen. You make a choice, young girl. You make a choice, my brother. Because if you go to a church and you have no respect to the word that has been preached on that pulpit, it's not a blessing. It's a curse. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we must accept God to get better. And when we reject Him, what happens? We become worse. Amen. And that's why you find men and women go to church and they're not getting better. They're getting worse, worse, and worse. And I want to tell you the silent speaking is the most loudest. Because there are men and women who are sitting in churches. They are there by body, but their mind, they are communicating. They are rebellious. They are not listening. They are rejecting what is being preached. They have no respect to that. They have a wrong attitude. There is no blessing. They are just coming in to fill the pool. But they are not coming in to worship God. And that's why when we say come, we expect it. When you are coming, you are giving everything you have. And you are opening yourself. And you are saying, not my will, Lord, but thy will be done. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Martha had the right attitude. He came before him with the right attitude. What shall we do without Jesus? Who shall we be without Jesus? Hallelujah. Master, if thou had been here, my brother will not die. What of if you asked, why were you not here? Why did you come when we called you? Why did you show up and you say you care? Why did you pick my phone call? And you say you are my pastor? Which kind of pastor are you? Mother, but I know even now. Hallelujah. My thought is even now. Amen. I'm not to teach you even now. Even now. Even now. I'm in my bed, but even now, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The right attitude. The right approach towards the word of God. Forgetting your strains of life. Forgetting the condition you are in. Here is death. And we know death was the greatest thing that has conquered man. Now death has come in the midst of Christ. But he was the resurrection. Hallelujah. And the prophet says somewhere else, if Jesus never said by name Lazarus, all the dead will rise. That who are dead in Christ. Hallelujah. But when he speaks, his word is true. Hallelujah. Let us think about Jesus Christ. Let us love him. When we come before him, 
Let's express our love. Hallelujah. The word of God is the eternal truth. Hallelujah. And our faith is based on the word of God. Amen. And on Sunday on Friday we learn that he has a private place. He has placed his name somewhere. And that place is where we find him. That place is called his word. Praise the Lord. We are saved because the word said so. Is that amen? You are telling the word I'm saved. Why? Because the word of the Lord tells me so. That I believe the Lord Jesus Christ. I was born again. Baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In water. In his name. And I know if I can't believe it. He said give me the Holy Ghost. And since he promised to give me the Holy Ghost. His word tells me so. I believe it. I'm born again. Hallelujah. And today. God the prophet says. In every age. God sends someone to witness for his word. He sends someone to vindicate his word. And as we are living today. In these perilous times. In dangerous moments of life. I'm telling you friends. God is vindicating himself. God has sent a witness to himself. The men and women. Besides men going berserk. Besides the world turning across. Turning away and falling apart from the things of God. God in this evening time. He has placed witnesses for himself. He's vindicating his word. There is going to be a resurrection. Hallelujah. There is going to be a rapture friends. There is going to be a change of life. Because the word says so. And the word of God is the truth. I'm not doubting it. She said a virgin shall conceive. It took many years to pass. But it came to pass. Because the word of God is true. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your approach towards the word of God. My attitude towards the word of God. Will determine the person I am. Give me a look. Chapter 1, 11 to 23. Hallelujah. Let me read it a little quick. And then maybe I make a few more comments and we can move on. Do you love him? Amen. 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 The word of God is true. I love it. Oh, yes. He's coming. Amen. Amen. standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not Zacharias, for thy prayer is hard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. And thou shalt call his name John. Hold it there. You see, here is a man who has been praying. Here is a woman who has been praying. They are looking for a son. And as we are looking at it, I want you to learn Zacharias was a priest. He was a man who was telling the scrolls. He was a preacher in the synagogue. He knew about the scrolls. He knew about the coming Messiah. And as I'm looking at this scripture, this is the first sign that scripture is going to be fulfilled that Isaiah spoke of, Moses spoke of. You see, he is going to be born John, and John is going to fall on the first coming of the Jesus Christ. For he said, I'm the one, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Oh, prepare you the way for the Lord coming and his feet. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. His shoes, I cannot even put them on. And you say, is a man, a woman, who has been waiting for this day. They have been looking for the Messiah. And they prayed and they were waiting for the coming of the Messiah. But here is the angel Gabriel. He's coming down. And the Bible says he came before Zacharias. And he saw the angel. And he became so fearful. But that same angel, as we see, is the same angel that came to Mary. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Amen. Thou shalt have joy and gladness. And men shall rejoice at his path. Because there was a greater man called John. It was a great path. 
and many shall rejoice because of his birth. He was a man. Remember, 17, the person being baptized at the Ohio, the same spirit came down and says, John the Baptist was given the ministry, the message for around the first coming of Jesus Christ. Your ministry commission is going to bring the second coming of Jesus Christ. Friends, we are living in the days of the signs of God. We have beheld the kingdom of God. We have beheld the manifestation and the vindication of the word of God. Let's go, my sisters. Oh, blessed be the name of our Jesus Christ. Amen. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong. And when we have received the message, he was also told, Do not drink, do not defile yourself with women, for there is a commission unto you. You see, John is receiving the same commission when he was born, like the first and like the second, that the ministry to bring Messiah to the land. And I want to tell you tonight, when John the Baptist was born, he went into the wilderness and he cried with a voice, prepare him the way. And the Lord came. And when Jesus came, he was telling, are you a liar who is to come? He said, no. But the liars must first come before that man. And you see here, you shall not drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. Oh, hallelujah. And men of the children of Israel shall turn to the Lord, their God, through his ministry. And he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of the lives to turn the hearts of the father to them children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared even for the Lord. Remember, this is the gospel. This is the angel of God. Gabriel is talking to a priest. He's in the temple, in the altar. Of holding the angel of God. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He's a man of God. He's a preacher. But you want to look at his attitude. And you want to look at the attitude of Martha. You want to look at the attitude of Mary. And see how he's acting to this. Amen. Christ said unto the angel, Where shall I know this? For I am an old man. And my wife well stricken. In years. God works mysteriously his wonders to perform. Amen. Hallelujah. He's right. He's old. The wife is stricken. Just like Sarah. She was old. Stricken. Dead. But God has come. Amen. God has come down. Amen. And I'm telling you, God has come. Amen. He came on Mount Sunset. Amen. God has come. You may show attitude, you may walk away, you may backslide, you may do what you want, but I'm telling you, God has come. Amen. And when he comes, he'll do everything Amen. to fulfill his word. Hallelujah. Then John answered, he said unto him, I am Gabriel, that stand the presence of God, and I am sent to speak unto thee, and to show thee these glad tidings. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. It's that song we sing when we gather there and the angels will look and they'll listen to us sing. But they cannot say, they cannot join the choir. But they'll wonder, oh, oh man, oh Paul, in the streets of New York, brother, how do you make it? How do you walk? Oh, Monique, in America, you're done, that's it. How do you make it? And the angels will wonder, oh, young boys. You could be putting on such white generation, pants half naked, and you'll be walking, looking so wonderful as they think. He's an abomination to the word of God. But when the angels will look and they'll see a young man, a young girl, so dressed, looking so good, like a Christian, and then Brother Branham was given a preview, and he saw things that are to be, and he saw the bride. Oh, they were walking and singing on much. Oh, Christian soldiers, let's go on. And they marched on, and he looked, and he looked. Oh, my name was in there. I was in that group. Oh, hallelujah. I want to be in that team when he was given. I don't want to be part of the American church when they came tingling like demons from hell because they came and when the brother Branham looked at it he began to cry and he cried but the prophet and the vision told him wait the bride is going to pass again I want to be part of that second bride I want to go in there I want to be in the line and when the prophet looks at it he cries stay in the line stay in the line don't 
step out and try to stay in the line. Put the right attitude. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of this Christ. Help me, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And behold, thou shalt be up. Double the word of God. He gave out the word of God. Probably ten minutes. He was a priest. Not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed. Why? Because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. Amen. The word of God must be fulfilled. Amen. When? In God's season. Amen. Not in your season, but in God's season. Amen. And the people waited for the Christ and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak. The angel of the Lord had stricken him. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. For he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. Hallelujah. Amen. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his ministration were accomplished, he departed to his own house. Amen. Hallelujah. Why did he become dumb? The attitude. Hallelujah. He's approached the word. Friends, our attitude towards the word of God. That's why when it comes to the things of God, leave them alone. When it comes to the men of God, leave them alone. When it comes to the bride of Jesus Christ, leave them alone. Praise the Lord. Your attitude. I don't have enough time. I wish I could go back and forth <coughs> to this. The prophet tells me if you want God to hear your prayer, live right, number one. Do right, number three. Treat everybody right, number three. Be right before God. Amen. If you do those, nothing will stop your prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing will stop your prayer. Amen. The Lord shall grant your heart's desire. Oh, praise the Lord. The angel of the Lord came to the priest. He doubted, declared dumb. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. You must have the right attitude to ask the word of God. Praise the Lord. Mary, the same angel, I wished in Luke 1, 26, to 7, the long one, I won't want to read it, but you know it. The angel of the Lord also came to Mary and made a virgin. And you see, not known any man, but so humble, he said, let it be according to thy word. Amen. Hallelujah. And he went out testifying. We don't have enough time tonight to go into this and see Mary, who was Elizabeth, was the first cousin of Mary, according to the scripture. And the Bible tells me when they came to meet together, and the first time the name Jesus is mentioned, we see the baby bubbling Amen. in the womb of the mother, fulfilling the voice of the angel that told the father he'll be filled by the Holy Ghost in the mother's womb. Amen. The word of God is so true. That's why we believe it. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be the name of Holy Christ. The plants, the vegetation, the trees we see that are speaking of the resurrection. They come, they go back in the ground, they come again. The sun is speaking of the resurrection. Let us not doubt the word of God. When I come to the house of God, I want to approach the house of God with the right attitude. Amen. Abraham had the right attitude. The wife doubted a little bit, but he maintained it. But God's word was fulfilled. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God can discern our hearts. He can see us from our secret chambers. And I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, when you come to the house of God, give it out. 
set it out. Amen. Give the right approach. Know that the angel of the Lord is here because he promised he will be with us, even in us. And when we walk, we are carried. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't know how many angels are here. And you also do not know how many demons are in here. The prophet will stand and say, I can see some, some dark shadow above you. Something like a hoodie on the show, laying on your head. Do you believe? And he said, that's the hand of death. Amen. When the sons and daughters of God meet, the demons come around. And the angels are there. And the devil would like to get you doubt the word of God. And when you begin to give the doubt the word of God and you develop a wrong attitude, no blessings for you. Mother had faith in Jesus Christ. Maybe I read maybe one or two quotes and then go to pray. Because we cannot just say these things, but God willing on Sunday may take a different version. If I can we go back to it so that we can develop the right approach to the word of God. And when we are in the house of God, you need to know that there is an angel, there is an eye that is watching you. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why I really, I really believe the Holy Ghost should be on the pulpit to inspect you. Amen. I'm just a human. You can tell me what you want to tell me, but what you do on your own, the Holy Ghost knows. Amen. Praise the Lord. 43, hallelujah, of the resurrection of Lazarus. Oh, hallelujah. Just a small few quotes from there. A few messages I read, and just a few from this. Hallelujah. He says, Why she know if God was an Elijah, surely he was his son. Hallelujah. That's right. If I can only get him, I'll find the reason my brother died. That's mother. So she pressed right onto the crowd of unbelievers when she got down there to where he was. Now, look, seem close, and I'm going to close just in a minute. Seem like that she had a right to a bright, hmm, doesn't it? Say, why didn't you come to my brother? Scold him. Why didn't you come to my brother? Praise the Lord. If she would have approached in that attitude, she would have that miracle would never have, have never have happened. It's your attitude of approach. How you approach anything. If you come, like in the gift here, you've got to approach that gift in the right way. Amen. Praise the Lord. Gifts, it could be a pastor, it could be a prophet, yeah. it could be an evangelist. You want a blessing, you have to approach that gift the right way. Because God honors his offices. You have got to approach God in the right. You can't come say now, Lord, look here. I've been a pretty good fella. Get some hand downs, but I'll tell you, I want you to take me tonight and say, no, no, God, don't take it like that. You come God's provided way. Amen. We were taught on God's provided way. Amen. Or you don't come at all. That's right. That's true. Praise the Lord. Amen. Do you love him? Amen. That's the way she came to Jesus. She came to him and she ran and fell down at his feet. Look at now. Let us look at the scene. I can hear her say, Lord, giving him his right title. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, if I would have been here, he didn't just come in Jesus if you've been here. Lord, my brother wouldn't have died. Oh, her heart was broke. She knew her brother was gone. She was turned out of her church now. What she had left, just her and Mary to struggle together. She said, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. But even now, Lord, oh my, whatsoever you ask God, God will go to thee. Amen. Oh, isn't that wonderful? 
my brother is dead. He's thinking. He's in the grave for days. The skin ones are crawling through him. But even now, Lord, whatsoever you ask God, God will do it to you. She had also lost her mind. She knew the brother was dead. For days gone. But he sees the natural. He's abnormal. But he sees Jesus. He has confidence. He has Jesus. has faith in him. Even if my brother be dead. Even the wounds be on his flesh. Even he be in the tomb. Even right now. I know the God you teach. I know the God you serve. I know the God you preach. Even now. If you ask him. He's going to do it unto me. He's going to give it unto me. When you ask him for prayer line. When you are calling your pastor to pray for you. If you can go in the same approach. That I expect the God you serve. I know you have the Holy Spirit. And I know if you pray for me, have faith, have confidence, the Lord shall do it unto me. God is obligated to his word. Tonight, God is going to answer your prayer. God is obligated to keep his promises. For he said, if you come with the same promise, the same principle, he's going to do it. Oh, look, sister, it may be a dark hour for you. Oh, yes. Maybe you are jobless. All your family has left you. Many men and women are committing suicide. Many of them have money. Let me tell you, friends, it's not the poverty that's making men and women commit suicide. Even wealthy men and women are dying and killing themselves because they're confused. They don't know what to do with life. Let me tell you, friends, the life without trust is useless. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But even now, Lord, what you ask is sitting on the right hand of the Father to the seat for you. Even now, Lord, whatever you ask God, God will do it. Say, well, I got a cancer. Or oh, Abraham, you know, or oh, doctor says, I'm going to die. I can't make it. But even now, Lord, whatever you ask, oh, my brother, Abraham, I've had prayer cards, but I just couldn't. But even now, Lord, whatsoever I ask God, God will do it. Oh, right now, even now, this minute, God can take everything. As we pray, prayer tonight, go to prayer. I want you to place yourself in this ministry. I want you to place yourself in it and think about your family, think about your church, think about about this country. Think about where we are. It's the time for believers to pray. It's the time to come together because demons are in the land. But even now, when the demons are raging, even now, when Corona and the pandemics and the cancers and all the diseases and the different kind of diseases are coming to earth, I want to tell you, friends, even now, whatever you ask, God will do it. I'm waiting for you, sisters. Hallelujah. God can make the eyes of this blind man break forth. He can heal the cross eyes, cross eyes guys sitting here. He can make this woman here bound, raised to health and strength. Why? Even now, Lord. Friends, even now, whatsoever you ask. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you ask. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you ask. He will give it to you. Do you believe? Amen. Do you believe he's here? Amen. I want to close. I have a few scriptures, but I'll not touch on them. But I want to close on this scripture. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. Hallelujah. And as I read that scripture, you can be on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You love him. Your attitude, your approach towards the word of God. But faith, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. Can you pray for me that song? Blessed be the time, my brother. He that cometh must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God willing on Sunday we look at them that diligently seek him. 
Best be that tongue that binds our sin Christian love, the fellowship of kindred arms is Just think about yourself tonight. We pause. So we go to pray. Then pray. Our fears, our hopes, our aims, our comfort. Silent faith 
cannot help you. Oh, my brother, my sister, faith, silent faith does not move mountains. You must speak. You must speak. Faith without wax is dead. Tonight, as you are in his presence, as you are in the house of God, as you are calling upon him tonight, whosoever is listening, whosoever will listen, tonight I'm asking you, friends, the Bible says if you speak to this mountain, it shall be according to thy word. That faith speaketh. Faith is not silent. Faith is an action. Faith does something. Faith must work. You cannot receive without work. You have to work. You have to do it. You have to move on, brother, my sister. Rest me the time. The tie that binds us together. In Christian love. In the hearts of Christian love. The fellowship of kindred minds. Minds of alike. Minds of King the Holy Spirit. Minds that speak the Holy Ghost. Minds that are possessed by the Holy Ghost. Mind that is the mind of Christ. For he said, let that mind that was in Christ be in you. He's the same mind in fellowship, in spirit, one in one with God himself. The angel God be there. Oh, came down to bring a message. And on Mount Sunset, the spirit of God, that same angel of God, has come down again. And as we speak the things of God, as we speak the gospel, Oh, tonight, there's the Holy Spirit. Tonight, there's the angel of God. Tonight, the Spirit of God is around. Oh, yes, sister, Elizabeth prayed. And God answered the prayer of Elizabeth. Oh, friends, tonight God can answer your prayer. Just send the right approach. Go in the right approach. Bring the right attitude. Attitude to the word of God. Oh, blessed be the name of his cross. Oh, we share our mutual woes, our mutual burdens we bear, and offer for each other. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, yes. If we cry, our sympathizing tear, when he was on the cross of Calvary, oh, he was a human being. He cried for mercy. Oh, when they placed him there, and he cried, my father, my father, why have thou forsaken me? He was a man. He was a man. When he went to the grave of Lazarus, and he cried, the Bible says he wept. But when he said, Lazarus, come forth. That was God. But God is here tonight. Friends, silent faith. Silent faith cannot move mountains. Silent faith cannot move mountains. Since the silent faith cannot move the mountain, oh, them that seek him diligently, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Why don't you worship him? Why don't you worship him? Why don't you praise him? Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, blessed be your holy name. Father, we thank you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Just continue praying. Continue praying. Continue praying, friends. Call upon him. Speak to him. Check your attitude. Is your attitude right with God? Are you right before him? Is it right acceptable before him? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Allah Sunday, my Savior, and eat my soul. Oh, uh-huh. 
a question.
be afraid of the one who have lost this life battle. They are afraid of all that ever called your name in spirit and in truth. They are kind seller. They are giver of everything good. They are provider of every need. My dear Jesus, my healer, my strength, the friend of the widow, the friend of the fatherless, the bridegroom, the one who called the bride, the one who called us for the world of sin. And you said to our prophet, if you can get the people to believe you, to believe is an attitude. To believe is a state of mind. To believe is a choice. Roots made a choice to follow Naomi. Oprah, Oprah made a choice to go back. Lord Jesus, your word has comfort. He has grace. A man of choosing law against grace. They have chosen to interpret the world their own way that brought death in the first place. He got enough Eden, and today it has brought death again. This is the season of death. But in the season of death, there is life. For your word, we never come back for it. We look around us as death all over. But this is not the second death. For all flesh, we go down to the dust where they came from. Every flesh must be destroyed. For no flesh can glory. No flesh can glory in the sight of a living God. No flesh shall see God. Every flesh in the twinkle of an eye must be changed. Dear Jesus, the people pressed you hard. They pressed hard on you. But venture never left until the woman would issue your blood with the right attitude, the right mental attitude towards your word. She was determined one touch we make her whole and when she touched you you touched her back that was a reaction that was a reaction to her touch because you touched her back with strength and you said I perceive that strength have left me because she touched you expecting to be touched back and no one up to you, believe it. Shall go back empty handed tonight, my Lord. We have not come to see one another, we come with a body in our heart to have experience with you. One night stand, one night stand, one night stand, Lord Jesus. If only we can touch you in sincerity. For you told the prophet, if you be sincere in your prayer, if you can get the people to believe you, the sincerity of our heart is to believe your word. And don't doubt. We live in time, dear Jesus. We live in time, our Lord. And if you tarry one by one, we will depart. Just like our precious brother, Bozinga, have taken his path in the land far away where there is no return back to this flesh. It's a one-way road. And as a tree laid down 
So shall the tree get up. Shall the people this day, my Lord, learn. Solomon said, It is good and better to go to the house of mourning in Ecclesiastic than the house of feasts. For there in the house of mourning, you think of your own day. May we learn, dear Jesus. May time teach us. May time teach us how to be sincere about the fellowship with Jesus. Yes. May we learn in time. You that live not in time, but we are taught in time. This moment we have, this period we have, this minute we have, this second we have, we don't know tomorrow. And it's in your hand, dear Jesus. May this prayer not be in vain. May the word that has been preached not go to an empty heart. May it not fall on a stone. May it not fall on a stone. But may it fall upon the good ground as a parable of the sower to bring forth fruits abundantly even a thousand fold for the edification of your name that the people we know and Jehovah of the Old Testament is Jesus Christ of the New. That what you did for your people in the first Exodus, you're doing today for your children in this third Exodus. A movement, a movement to defy gravity and meet you up in the air. Dear Jesus, thank you for your comforting words. With these words, we shall arise. With this word, we shall resurrect. For the power to resurrect is in the word. The power to resurrect is in the word. If we believe that we shall never die, that is resurrection. The power to believe is the power to resurrect. But no doubter shall enter therein. No accuser shall enter therein. No molester shall enter therein. No unbelief shall enter therein. The road is wide that will lead to the destruction, but narrow is the way that will lead to the kingdom of God. And fill the earth that will find it. But by your grace, we have obtained that narrow way, as you told our prophets, because you chose this way, my way, the narrow way, a bigger portion of heaven awaits you. It is big because of us. Because of the pride, we make it big. Because of you, because of your grace, because of your mercy, because of your love, because of your calling, because of your choosing. You have chosen, you have anointed, and the road that you open, the door you open, no one can shut it. No one can shut it. The blessings you have given, no devil can take it away. For you said in your word, you said in your word, the gates of hell shall not prevail because your children born of your blood has believed the word down to their heart with the right mental attitude it will bring forth what the promise I intended I know the thought I have for you see the Lord it is the thought of good and not of evil to bring you to an expected fear your little pride fear your little pride be strong and of good courage for the Lord thy God he knows your need he knows your want he knows your desire for the Lord thy God, the bridegroom, he knows, he knows how to cry. He hears, he hears every cry. Oh dear Jesus, may you comfort your children. At this very hour, Lord, once again, I present to you our brothers that are in Elizabeth and are wondering how that one of our own too has got to glory. May you strengthen them, Lord, as we grieve together. For we are one spirit, one baptism, one body, one resurrection, one bride. Oh, dear Jesus, may you open the eyes of your children to see the power of the world. Our time is no more. This is even a time. This is even a time message. 
and I live in time. Yes, shall be light. And darkness cannot comprehend it. For the power of Jesus is upon him right. And we are going home. Soon and very soon. We be home. Dear Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, dear Jesus, for brother who spoke tonight. Precious Patrick, may you strengthen him. Even the very song he was singing here when I walked in. It's the very song I was singing in my car as I turned off my engine. I love Jesus. He's the same spirit. He's so united to even sing this song at the very hour. What can prevent us from rapture at the same hour? What can prevent us from going home when you shall call? For so your spirit is here to bear witness. In one spirit we worship. In one accord we worship. We are dedicating our life every day unto you. I know who you are. I know you, dear Jesus. You are my friend. You are my strength. You are my life. You are all all. The very end of that place. It's all about you. Thank you for this fellowship. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for their life. Thank you for being their God. Thank you for being their provider. Time is not enough for us to thank you. But I accept the sacrifice of our praise and thank you in this narrow time that we have. Lord, we pray with thanksgiving in the most precious name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for brother Dennis who will be traveling tomorrow morning heading back. May you give him Johnny mercy. I pray for every brother and sister that we have not seen. But I see first and his family. But I pray for that and his family. Most precious Lord, may you bless them all. May you bless them all. All those who have traveled, those who have left to Jersey, may you bless them all. May you unite this prayer with the prayers of the saints that have felt that much. Wherever they may gather tonight, we sincerely your faith for your name's sake. May this prayer come up to you like a swiss man in silver. Look not at my deficiency. Look not at our sin. If you count our sin, who can stand before you? And the scripture said, if anyone said they have no sin, the truth is not in them. Then we confess our sin before thee. Thou will forgive them all. Thou will put them in the sea of forgetfulness. When I remember them no more, we shall be made whiter, even whiter than snow, because you say so. May this words abound. May this promises abound. Lord, we pray. If there be a Sunday, speak to us. We pray with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We shall rise. Hallelujah. We shall rise. Amen. We shall rise. Hallelujah. In the resurrection. Oh, we shall rise. The resurrection morning, oh, we shall rise, we shall rise, hallelujah, we shall rise, and man, in the same we come rejoicing, no tear will be found, we shall rise, hallelujah, we shall rise, and man, we shall rise, we shall rise, and man, we shall rise. Morning, this embass are broken. We shall ride, hallelujah. We shall ride, amen. In the resurrection morning, what our meeting here will be. We shall ride, hallelujah. We shall ride, amen. When our father, our brother, our loved one, we shall see. We shall ride, hallelujah. We shall ride. Amen. We shall rise. We shall rise. Amen. We shall rise. Oh, in the resurrection morning, oh, prison bars are broken. We shall.
shall ride, hallelujah, we shall ride, amen, in the resurrection morning, blessed do it be to me, we shall ride, we shall ride, I shall see my blessed Savior, who so free died for me, we shall ride, we shall ride, oh, we shall ride, we shall ride, A man in the resurrection morning, who oh, prison bars are broken, we shall ride, hallelujah, we shall ride. A man in the resurrection morning, we shall meet him in the air. Oh, we shall ride, a man and be carried up to glory, who oh, so bright and far, we shall ride. We shall rise, amen, we shall rise, amen, we shall rise, amen, in the resurrection morning, prison bars are broken, we shall rise, hallelujah, we shall rise, hallelujah, I'm pressing on the upward way. In every day, still praying us, I'm up was back. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, lift me up. I'm Stand my faith on a potable land. I have played and I have found. Lord, plant my feet on a ground. My heart has no. Without a rise and fear this man, no son may dwell where this about my prayer, my aim is higher ground, Lord. Red 
to his service. May the Lord rekindle your faith. May the Lord be your portion in the land of the living. And when you shall fall sick of this flesh, may he continue to be your healer. If the battle ever seems to be dry, may he fulfill what he did to the woman. That the power of all you will not run dry for some of our woman. May he do the same for you and your family as we are waiting his coming. May your grind be higher every day. May this vessel not be a place where sickness can prefer. But may the Holy Ghost prefer upon us until we see him face to face. For this is his promise that everything good will come to us. Lord, we pray with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>